Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Bass Tool. And I built up a little tool kit. I'm still working on my minimalist tool kit, but I'm about two weeks into an overlanding trip and I decided that I would actually use um, the small set of tools here as much as possible. I do have a full tool kit with me, but I'm trying to get a feel for what uh, the most handy, easily accessible, most used things are. And so I started with this set and I'll go over a few of them while I put them back away into my Klein Tools kit or Klein Tools container. This is like a hard case. Um, a lot of people use them for their multimeters and electronics, but I wanted something that would just stay together, had some firmness to it. So I got one of these, they're about 20 bucks. So first of all, um, I decided to go with a uh, standard 3 8 or standard size 3 8 inch drive ratchet. No flex head, no way, nothing. Um, and a set of sockets from 8 millimeter to 19. Um, and these are 3 8 drives, so that pretty much covered about anything I would need except lug nuts, and I've got another setup for that. So what I wanted was just the basics. Um, I went with semi-deep as well. To supplement that, I've got a 3 8 drive bit holder, and that's important, you know, if I want to add a little bit of emphasis or I need to get in at an angle, something like that. Um, and I also store an extra long number two Phillips from Milwaukee in there. Um, I also brought a small um, flex head 3 8 drive with a Koken um, extension, three inch extension that has a wobble. So that covered about everything that I, I need. If I need something longer than that, what I can do is I have for a bit driver, um, I brought this, this Makita here uh, with strong magnet and a Milwaukee three eight uh, driver that runs on a bit, um, the quarter inch bit. And that I can actually then put on um, whatever I need that's even longer, even if I needed, you know, to pop this thing off here. If I throw that on, you can see, then I could throw this in here. It's not super strong, but it gives me plenty of reach. So, you know, I've, I can make adaptations. Let's throw that in for now. So what else? Uh, I went with four wrenches. Um, a 14, a 13, a 12, and a 10. Those are common sizes that I might encounter. If I need something else, um, I might either go to a, a plier, or I'll show you those in a moment, some uh, other things, but I decided to bring these. Have not used any of them um, yet. Everything's been working. I did bring a set of wire strippers. The only thing I needed was we were working on some mountain bike cabling, and I wanted a better cutter than this. Um, I didn't want to sacrifice this trying to cut stainless steel cable. Um, so probably should have something a little better. I did use one of my other tools for that. Pliers, this, this thing does about everything. Used it a bunch. It actually is really handy for a lot of things besides just, you know, tool stuff. But um, the size made it fit in here just, just fine. Works great that way. Uh, knife, I did bring a utility knife with a sacrificial blade. Didn't end up using that. I did carry this. I did a video about this, this Chitel, which is a, um, uh, an Olight knife, uh, or O-Knife knife, excuse me. Um, I got from Obi. Uh, they sent it to me to try out, and I've actually been carrying this. I actually really like it. It's a good knife, so that's going in my pocket. Uh, I brought a quarter and 5 16 inch um, nut drivers, the reason is a lot of RV stuff uses quarter or five sixteenths inch, inch screws, so those work well. Um, Snap-on pry bar, used it a couple of times for, for non-tool things, um, you know, non-mechanical stuff, worked great. Um, wouldn't leave home without it. Did bring in my pick, my favorite pick, this is the 45 or, core, or kind of the 45 degree bent tip. Um, love this thing. Didn't use it, but I'm not leaving without it. Now, uh, here's an interesting one. The question was always, do you bring a plier wrench or do you bring an adjustable wrench? In my case, I brought both. I use this more for a few things. Just It's just quick, it's simple, one-handed. Um, this actually does a lot that this can't, but frankly, I'm gonna carry both of them. That's how I feel about it. 
Um, I, d I like both. They both do great things. Yes, there's a lot of overlap, but having a small adjustable wrench to me, that's, I guess maybe I'm old, so that's where I'm stuck. Um, I did use this a bunch, just a standard um, Vera bit holding screwdriver with non-ratcheting um, with this extension that you can take out. So I can use that in this system as well. Um, but it also shrinks down pretty small. And I like that it has the actual lock versus just a magnet here. So I can substitute that in. Um, I did toss in a little narrow flat or rechargeable kind of slim line flashlight, this Milwaukee. Problem is I generally have a flashlight somewhere else. So I didn't actually ever need this, but I did use a flashlight quite often. Get these in there and then a small magnetic mat. These snap-on ones are great. Just hook them anywhere, toss them in. They just really perform and uh, uh, didn't use it, but I have used them so much that I'm not leaving home without them. And then this all just fits right on in into my uh, climb. There they are. So that's the tool kit that I tested out and um, so far uh, make a few changes. I'll probably make, an, uh, make another video about it, but that's that does almost everything unless you've got some catastrophic problem. And with that, dock out.